Hey guys, my name is Jekka and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a DIY overhead camera rig out of wood. Now this used to be my old setup which was a chair with my tripod strapped on it using a belt and a bag of cat litter on top and it was okay, it, technically it did the job but it was such a chore to set up and it was super unstable. So in this video, whoa, my camera's heavy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own DIY overhead camera rig that you can use for your unboxing videos, for your art videos, for your stop motion animation, or whatever kind of video that needs an overhead shot. Can you tell that my arm is shaking from the weight of this camera? Ow. And the best part is, it only cost me less than 200 pesos. So for materials, you're gonna need a 1x2 piece of wood that is 10 feet in total length and cut in the following sizes. So for the top piece, this will be 33 and 5 8 inches long, and this will be where our camera will attach on. Then for the legs, you'll need two pieces of wood that are 31 and 1 fourth of an inch long, and for the feet, you'll need two pieces of wood that are 12 inches long. So these measurements are based on my needs and on the size of my desk, but you can adjust these to your preference. For the top piece of wood, on this wider side, drill a hole that is 1 fourth of an inch in diameter in the exact middle of the length of the wood, but a little bit off-center along the width of the wood. So basically, the gap on top should be slightly smaller than the one at the bottom. You can also draw an arrow with a pencil to help you remember which side should be facing up. Now, if you're from the Philippines like me, I would highly recommend that you buy your wood from one of those small construction supply stores because then you can ask them to cut the wood for you and to drill the hole on top for you. Unfortunately, with those big hardware stores like Ace Hardware or Wilcon, they don't provide that kind of service, which I honestly think they should. You will also need one quarter twenty bolt that is two inches long, Preferably one with a handle like this, which my dad got from an old office chair. This is the standard screw size used in cameras, tripods, and phone mounts. You will also need a quarter washer, a quarter nut, six pieces of number eight wood screws that are one inch long, and four pieces of number eight wood screws that are one and a half inches long. And lastly, for tools, you will need a pencil, a ruler, and a screwdriver. Optional tools are a hammer and a drill. Now there's gonna be some measuring involved in this part of the process, but don't you worry because I'm gonna try to explain this part as clearly as I can and I'm even gonna animate some parts to make things extra clear. So yeah, there's that. But anyway, to start, get your top piece of wood and mark a half inch gap around both ends. Then get the wood pieces for the legs and measure a half inch gap on the top. These gaps are so our wood pieces will not split when we put in our wood screws later on. Next, place the top piece in front of one of the leg pieces, making sure to keep that half-inch allowance. Also, be sure that both pieces have the wider side facing out and the pencil arrow that we drew earlier on the top piece pointing up. Next, attach the top piece to the leg using three one-inch long wood screws placed diagonally. Now, this is just a helpful tip that my dad did, so thanks, Papa! But using a hammer and a nail or a drill, create some pilot holes or pre-drill some holes that will help guide your wood screws in. Then secure both pieces of wood by hammering a nail temporarily in the middle so that the wood pieces don't move around. And then screw in the wood with a screwdriver and don't forget to remove the nail before screwing in that last wood screw. Do the same on the other side with the remaining 1 inch wood screws, and you'll end up with something that looks like this. For the feet, create a mark that is 3.5 inches from the edge. The shorter side will be the back of the foot, and then the longer side will be the front of the foot, so that the rig will not fall forward from the weight of the camera. Next, place one of the legs off your rig right after that 3.5 inch mark, and then attach the foot and leg pieces together using two 1.5 inch wood screws with the foot piece on the outer side of the leg piece, like in the video. Be sure that the foot is outside of the leg and the front of your rig is facing the longer side of the foot. 
Do the same on the other side by attaching the other foot to the other leg piece using the remaining 1.5 inch wood screws. You can use the same technique from earlier where we made some pilot holes to help guide the wood screws in. And you'll end up with something that looks like this. To attach your camera, get your quarter 20 bolt, quarter washer, and quarter nut. First, get the quarter nut and screw it in the bolt and then do the same for the washer. Insert the bolt through the drill hole from the back of your top piece and then screw in your camera on the front side of the top piece. Tighten the nut and that's it! A super simple and affordable overhead camera rig for your art and animation needs. You can even attach a phone mount to film with your phone or one of those clippy clip-on lights. I don't actually have one of those, so that's just a drawing for demonstration purposes. And how much did it all cost? Well, excluding the tools which my dad already owned, this only cost me 170 pesos, which is like nothing compared to one of those horizontal camera tripods, which are like 5,000 to 10,000 pesos here in the Philippines, or they can run to about $150 to $200 on Amazon. This rig can hold my Canon 200D, which is what I'm using to film right now, and it's about one pound in weight or about 500 grams, more or less. I think. Yeah, if you have a heavier camera or you just want more stability, then I would recommend that you go for 2x2s instead of 1x2s like what I use for the wood. Just be sure that you get longer wood screws and a longer quarter 20 bolt. If you found this video helpful or you just enjoyed it, then please give it a like. And while you're at it, be sure you're subscribed. <clears throat> One second. Create your own adventures and maybe shoot it from an overhead ha a handle. <clears throat> But I will see you in the next video.